Okay, so I'm acting like a little bit of a dork today, and that's just because I happened to look at my page and see that I have finally reached 100 subscribers. Now, I didn't get into this because I thought I was going to make it big or I was going to be famous on YouTube. It's because I had something to say. The topic that really drives me insane is the don't ask, don't tell policy of the United States military. Reason being is that I'm a veteran myself and I've had to serve under those conditions. Recently, the United States Army has taken a poll and decided that they were going to vote on whether or not they were going to let United States soldiers serve openly as homosexuals in the military. When I first heard about this, I was actually very excited. I actually told all my friends immediately, oh my god, they're actually thinking about changing the policy. <laughs> then I thought, well wait a minute, why am I so excited? They did this back in, in Clinton days when he said he was going to abolish it, and what happened? The don't ask, don't tell policy, which was almost as bad as having the, if you're homosexual, you can't, you can't serve at all. You know, I, the weirdest part about all this is that I got very excited over them saying that they were going to think about changing the policy and that they were going to make, take steps towards changing the policy. It kind of, uh, you know, it kind of made me think that, okay, they're going to throw those crackers underneath the closet door just to keep us satisfied for now until we just can't take it anymore and we burst out of that closet. Um, it kind of makes me feel like Oliver Twist in A Tale of Two Cities. But please, sir, I want some more. I'm not satisfied with these breadcrumbs. I want it all. So what do you think about it? Do you think that abolishing the don't ask, don't tell policy is something that we should do right now? Screw all the breadcrumbs we've been getting all throughout the years. The don't ask, don't tell policy, all the opinions and polls and surveys, it doesn't matter. This is the year 2010. If we can't let go of our prejudice now, when are we supposed to do that? When we're all dead and buried? I mean, come on. If you think about it, when did the civil rights movement begin? Back in the 60s? It's pretty sad to think that it's taken 70 years to get us to where, to where we are right now. Imagine if we waited any, bit, any longer for gay rights to be just as recognized as the rights of African Americans or women. I mean, come on people, let's burst that, that closet door down and all demand it. Equality now. If you feel the same way that I do about equality now, I suggest you go ahead and check out the link in the sidebar over here. I started a video that we want to have go viral. We want people to stand up and take notice of the fact that we want our rights and we want equality. We want it now. So check out the video. I put the link in the sidebar over here for you. If you want to take part in telling the government that you want your equality, send me a video response using that link in the sidebar. Send me something to the, to the email in that sidebar, and I swear, we'll have our equality. We just have to stand up and demand it.